Hey guys, how's it going? It's time for the horoscope for Leo, Leo horoscope for October 8th, 9th, and 10th. Okay, this is going to be the Cancer Moon, so I hope you guys are doing well, and we are just going to throw cards all over the place. The only one that really popped up, maybe this on the bottom of the deck, Cancer Moon, hey! <laughs> Don't make things harder on yourself than they need to be, okay? Unconditional love coming through strong, okay? You create what this bond means to you, what your bond, what your passion, what your actions, everything you do, what it means for you, everything that happens to you. You ascribe meaning to it, and that is powerful right now. Okay, so there's a lot going on. Okay, we're going to look at October 8th. Okay, yeah, we have maybe some things that are not making you all sorts of happy. There's definitely this fiery energy. We've got a lot of energy with um, Mars and Aries in the middle of a lot of wedges, in the middle of a lot of T-squares, cardinal T-squares that are going on during this time. Okay, working out, you know, easily riled up, angry, you know, annoyed, aggravated, having, you know, not having patience with people right now. It's not just, um, you know, the events that are going on. It's like, it's just the way, it's just the way we're reading this right now. <laughs> so, but it's, it's changing us. We're, we're using it and we're, you know, with everything else that's going on right now, we're balancing it out. You know, we're coming to new realizations. Absolutely. A lot of the energy that we have is, you know, with this Capricorn and Pluto, Capricorn in um, Jupiter as well. Okay. So we have, you know, those sides of ourself that those, those structures of it's like creating, you know, it's like new surprises that, or new things that are happening in your life that are going to stick. It's going to be your new way, you know, of doing things. We keep getting this. We got it in the last, in the Cancer reading as well. Which, by the way, I'm Cancer Moon, Sun, and Leo rising. So, <laughs> just a little halfway there. But yeah, some connections, okay? But again, all of this is leading to this healing. Our healing is leading to our new beginnings, okay? And our unhappiness is leading us to our healing. So, any unhappiness use it shadow work all day and this is not only that but it's going deeper leo of course you know and we we do have there's some leo energy somewhere we we are working with something i can't remember maybe it was just in my head from something um because yeah i can't remember that but <clears throat> of course, for you, you know, being Leo is really dealing with this issue of how you're shining, how you're working it out, like how you're, everybody's working on kind of issuing the, their new selves and like how they're representing their new selves to the world. But I think you guys really are as well in this time right now going within here. It's kind of like staying close to home, figuring out again, this practicalities, Venus and Virgo is wanting us to have things kind of settled, wanting us to make things perfect, you know, um, only wanting us to do the things that fit correctly, you know, into that puzzle piece that we talked about the other day. But we have to balance out this Mars and Aries rage with this, you know, change and this purpose that we're having for the world, you know, with our personal lives. We are, it's like, in a way, we're kind of just trying to make room for it all, you know? But really, the healing, the inner healing is what is going to set everything else off on the external. Even, you know, with anything, it all, it all begins within and you matter the most. And I know it sounds so cliche because it sounds just like this self-love culture. But you have to fill your own gas mask up, you know, just like with the child on the airplane. How are you going to give that child any oxygen if you are passed out? You have to give it to yourself first. You have to prioritize yourself, not just on a physical pampering level, on all 
of your energy levels, mental, emotional, your physical, again, like your everyday actions and, um, and your pentacles energy, your, you know, your literal habits, you know, over time, the buildup energy and what actually comes back to you, you know, what you actually get out of it that helps you heal even more. Okay. And it's getting these good cycles going in our lives. Okay. We're not moving forward here unless we go within, unless we go deep, unless we make it holistic. Okay. There's too much going on on the outside. You know, there's, there's just really no getting around it. We've got to protect our energy at all costs. Mood boosters, bliss bubble, all the things we talk about on this channel so much. Don't fall down in these negative vortexes of anger, of having to show people you're right. The best thing right now at this point is more of this reserved kind of letting it play out and humor, 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 using the humor. Okay. Sorry, I just realized I had a poison arrow coming right at me with the feng shui. So again, it might be a good time to check out the home life, you know, up and upgrade that home life and just focus on that peaceful life this weekend. And again, change, making your change from within, making sure that, and again, it's really a deep thing to, to give yourself that self-love and to start really being honest with yourself and looking at yourself enough to say, that's not it. You know, that's not it. That's not loving yourself. Like, and so I'm going to change it and continuing to do so and just getting better and better. That's how we live our best life. As I said in a recent video. So anyway, blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to check your other personal signs, your, all your personal planets and those of your person. Um, if you have one or your people, um, to, to get a gist of what's going on with everybody, what's going on out there and in here, much love, many blessings. Take care guys. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.